Now, what do you make of this? I think it's a buy time for the power play unit to get a breather. Uh, you might be right. We'll see how long LeBay stays off. My guess is not real long. My guess is for a whistle. Yeah. <laughs> 30 seconds worth. That's exactly what I think is going on right well, here. Well, if that's the case, then uh, Gary Agnew, give him a lot of credit. Although I see LeBay going back to the dressing room, so he may be going back there to grab himself a sip of water, too. Face off going to be won by the crunch. Walls are with the puck to the far wall. Darsh walks in. Big shot. Save is made. And the uh, Wolves should have a chance to clear it, and they do. Under a minute to go on the power play chance. Greg Gardner is back today. His grandfather passed away. He wasn't here on Sunday as LeBay was backed up by uh, Pascal Leclerc. And guess what? There's a, another penalty upcoming against the Wolves. And a smart play by Walzer. He throws the puck down the ice, puts it on the goaltender, and we'll have goaltender interference called against the Chicago Wolves. Greg Gardner comes in. He could be part of one of the bigger plays of tonight's hockey game. How about that? And Gardner only playing a few seconds, but again, we talk about very foolish penalties to take. And whether or not contact was made here, and you can see, indeed, contact was made. So Ben Simon, a guy who kind of like Lassard is no stranger to the coonery, finds himself in the penalty box and a huge scoring opportunity right now for Syracuse, a two-man advantage for the next 35 seconds. You got to get one on this. You've got to get one on.